Hey everyone, this is Alan from BMW Durham back again with another video. Today, we're going on a test drive in the 2025 BMW X330 uh, G45 body style. All right, so we are here in the 2025 BMW X330. Let's get the car started. Okay, I've got the car in personal mode. Let's go for a drive. So while we're in personal, the steering is very light. The throttle, decent power, but uh, we're not all out yet. And this being the B48 two liter inline four twin power turbo with 255 horse, 295 foot pounds of torque. This is not the M50, but I wanted to get a chance to drive this uh, with you so you can get a chance to see how it works. So right away, is that F8 speed? Those gear shifts are seamless. I don't feel anything happening. And uh, I'm just gonna floor it for a second while we're in personal. It's a decent amount of pickup there. That's all cool. And once we get down to the end of the street here, I just wanted to also test out uh, turning radius. Car is extremely quiet inside of here and uh, very comfortable, very smooth. And I've also noticed the car feels a bit more planted than before. I think it just might be that slightly wider um, track. So there is a Toyota doing a UE, and we're gonna do our tightest UE that we can. Absolutely no problem in this spot here at all. And uh, looks like they're doing some test drive stuff there too. So I'm actually gonna do something here. I'm gonna put in a destination. Okay, so I put a destination so that we can get going and also I'm going to touch here I'm going to turn on the ventilated seats I am warm it is November and it is hot so ventilated seats on that's great and also my modes let's put it in sport and let's just take a look so drivetrain sport Driving Dynamics, Sport Plus, Steering, Sport. So already I can hear the sound has changed. Let's get back home here. Actually, let's get back onto that map. I don't want it just in the background. So, sound has changed. Steering, tighter. Engine feel, different. Yep, so I definitely... Uh, Feel the difference in sport already even the sound is there and I feel like the car like I said earlier it's smoother than it was before so let's get out onto the highway with this Since we're testing out sport, I might as well also put it into the sport transmission as well. I just want to sync both temperatures. Perfect. Okay, one more car, we're gonna make this turn. And we're gonna get out 
out onto the highway here. foot-pounds of torque is extremely noticeable compared to the outgoing uh, was it 258 and uh, some merge in here sight lines really nice feel very good I think the driving experience is still unmatched in this category here on this ramp and we're going to do a loop and we're going to come back the other way That's what I wanted. I didn't turn it on properly and it's telling me to turn left or sorry right but I'm going to turn left. I'm not going to follow the instructions. So that's what the augmented reality view looks like. So it's giving me an overlay telling me to turn right here. I don't want to turn right. I want to get back onto Lake Ridge but I think that uh, it's telling me to turn right because it's likely the faster uh, route. So let's uh, turn left here and see what the augmented reality navigation does so I'm going to disobey saying go that way and now I'm actually going to just go here and see what it tells me to do it's going to reroute once it realizes I'm no longer going up Lake Ridge I'm back onto the 401 ramp there we go Ventilated seats doing its job as well. I feel nice and cool now. It was hot. This TSX merge in. this lane because this lane does turn into an off-ramp at Salem exit where we're trying to go to so there it is some arrows telling us hey this is where you need to go and when we get to our next maneuver we should get the video to come back on so it's telling us we will have to uh, turn left here There is the arrows on the actual video overlay of outside telling me exactly where I need to go. And I've got my phone on the charger here. Of course, while I'm trying to film the video, everybody's trying to call me. <laughs> So 
So yeah, that was very enjoyable. And uh, although of course this doesn't have nearly the same kick as the M50 model, the 30 model is fine. It's got enough power for what you would need it for for day-to-day -day use. The fuel economy is obviously much better on the four cylinder than the six cylinder. So that could be a potential plus if you're looking to add a couple of hundred kilometers to your range. And now that we're kind of back into the dealership area, so there again, we've got this here. So I'm going to cancel that. And next thing I just want to go through, so I've arrived to a parking lot. I want this car to park by itself. I'll press the park assist button down here to achieve this view. You could do this without pressing this, but I prefer to do it this way because then I can decide which spot I want it to try and park in. So I'm gonna drive past the intended spot. You'll notice that it's picking up these spots along the side here. So it can reverse park or it can forward park into that spot. I wanna back park. So I'm gonna click on that and monitor surroundings and release brake. So we'll do that. So get the nice image of the P overlaid into the spot that it's trying to get into and uh, it may not go perfectly straight in the spot because it will be relevant to the cars beside so if the cars beside are not parked perfectly it may park a little crooked to accommodate getting out of the car once it's finished parking there we go so we are actually park straight in the spot and it's just coming forward a little touch there we go finishing touches perfect so the car is now in park uh, there's enough space to open the doors on each side which is nice and uh, we also have a panorama view so that is a 180 degree view of the rear or in drive, 180 degree view of the front. We also have the 3D view, so that would allow us, whoops, I didn't put it in park. That would allow us to look all the way around the car, right? And we also have car wash view to help you align yourself to get into the car wash. And we also have the camera cleaning view, so there's front and rear. So there's a jet at the front, a jet at the rear. So I'm just gonna actually just do both. So rear goes first, and then front goes second, and now the cameras are clean. So let's just go back. There's the front camera view, and we can just look at the reverse. Yep, so there it is, perfect. I'm happy with that. So let me just shut off the car. And also, since we are in here, just wanted to quickly look at a couple of other things. So infotainment wise, interior camera, confirm, yes, yes. So there's the interior camera. So you can see, hello, uh, you can take a selfie. You can also smile at the camera to have it take a picture, just like that. You can uh, have a three second timer if you need three seconds to determine what pose you will do for this photo. Burst mode, <clears throat> and also you can record a video. But what's more important, if the alarm is set off, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, I need a glass of water. Um, it will also record a video of whatever is moving inside of here so that you'll able, uh, be able to get that information through the My BMW app, which is extremely helpful. And of course we have the drive recorder. So let me just configure this. So you can actually have this set up. So all four cameras are always recording while the vehicle is on. And if there is a trigger, there's a manual trigger, which is pressing and holding the park assist button, so the little camera with the P on it. Or if you crash the car, it'll have 30 seconds of footage before the trigger, 30 seconds after. And then you can go over here and you can look at your recordings. So that is awesome. That's in the car as well. And we also have air console games. So if you'd like to play some games in the car, uh, you're able to do so, which is new for iDrive 9. And... Uh, I think that's pretty well everything that I wanted to show you. Get a chance to see how some of the features work, the way the car drives. The driving experience is really nice, um, despite what you, you may think of the styling of the car. But um, overall, it is a really nice package. Um, 
I'm trying to see if I can talk myself into going down to a four cylinder. It's going to be a real, real tough battle for me to get down there. But um, I really think that it's more than enough for anybody. Um, it's just that I've been spoiled by tasting the B58 already. So anyway, I think that will conclude the video. If you have any questions about anything, please leave me a comment uh, with your question. Otherwise, I think this is a really good vehicle in terms of uh, the replacement for the outgoing X3 in terms of the way it's driving, uh, in terms of the options that are in it. So I think that's all really cool. But uh, otherwise, thank you for watching. Um, please uh, follow me on Instagram. It's at Allen BMW Durham. And I did actually do a full review on this vehicle. I'll put the link at the end of the video. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.